uh, a child losing their parent is the, the greatest fear that a young child can have. And when that parent is removed from them and them not knowing whether the parent is alive or, or dead, uh, that's the worst nightmare I could imagine for a child. Uh, the process that's going on and the impact of what's happening is devastating. It's, it's a child's greatest nightmare to be separated from their parents and not knowing where they are. It in, the, in the short term, a, a child can lose their appetite. They can become fearful. Uh, they can lose weight. Uh, they can become dehydrated. It could be a life and death situation. And long-standing effects of what's occurring with these children uh, is going to be devastating and we, we just don't know what's happening to them. Uh, the Yeah, the, the, the more likely concerns that you see related to anxiety, mood symptoms, even post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, I, I see this as a, uh, yeah, a morally and ethically horrific uh, wrongdoing. That Nobody seems to be concerned about the children and the impact that this is having on them. Nobody seems to be concerned about reuniting the children with their families. The process overall is, is uh, tragic, overwhelming, quite frankly, in regards to how this could be impacting children. The quicker this situation can be resolved, the less likely that there will be long-standing trauma. We're going to have uh, significant mental health concerns with these children, including depression, anxiety, and, and post-traumatic symptoms. Uh, uh, for some of these children, uh, pulling them away from, from their families can, can result in, in such pathology that they could end up dying. What's occurring right now is, is wrong in, in so many ways.